We want to welcome in Jose Diaz Villard, an anchor for Telemundo, MSNBC, in the Saturday edition of NBC Nightly News. Lester hands that torch every Saturday <laughs> over to Jose. The Latino vote has been so interesting. We yes. obviously have the results in from Florida, but, uh, you know, Democrats cannot take the Latino vote for granted. It's interesting. You know, I, I'm convinced that there is no Latino vote. There are just Latino voters, and they vote differently depending on their sensitivity, their life experience, even where their parents and grandparents are from. But I've been talking to, you know, Chuck yeah. Todd. I think the story, there's 34.5 million Latino eligible to vote in this election. 15% of the electorate is Latino. That's a massive amount of people. And I think that where it's been, and it's an outlier, no doubt, is Florida. Yeah. The, the impact of Latino voters in Florida, DeSantis winning majority, the Cuban vote, majority of the Puerto Rican vote in that I-4 corridor, uh, 55 percent of the Puerto Rican vote, 50 percent of all of the other Latino voters in the state of Florida, Miami-Dade. He's going to outpoll Marco Rubio in his... In okay. Miami-Dade. Yeah. In Miami-Dade. Well, Marco Rubio didn't win his county, right. uh, you know, the last time he, he ran. But I think that, that it's important to recognize the strength of the Latino vote throughout our country. And, you know, we know, uh, you know, Nevada, we know California. Uh, first senator, first Latino senator uh, for the state of California, now reelected. Uh, it's interesting. There really isn't a Latino vote. But, it, but, it, but is Florida now a solid red state? Seems to me like it's a solid... No longer a swing state. It's a solid Republican state for now, but it's more a DeSantis state. Yeah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.